Hi everyone, welcome to our first Meet the Artist. I am Elizabeth Merton. And I am Inna Allen, and we are curators at UH Arts. And today we are joined by artist Mary Saba, who we are delighted to welcome to come and talk to us about her practice. And this is part of our Meet the Artist programme, which is part of our alumni showcase. We are launching these in September. There will be four online exhibitions, contemporary design crafts, illustration, photography, and fine art, including this activity here as part of the fine art alumni shows. So welcome, Mary. You are joining us from Cyprus today. So thank you very much for taking part in this. Um, thank you, you for are inviting a visual me. artist, um, primarily a painter, and you studied fine art at the University of Hertfordshire from 2011 to 2014. Yes, that's right. That's right. And then you continued to your postgraduate studies at the Slade School of Art um, in London. Yeah. So could you tell us a bit about your practice and your career to date? Uh, a bit about my practice. Well, I've always uh, been interested in uh, human form and the human figures as I was a kid. I've always tried to... Um, put that down and try to um, experiment in different ways on how to show that. And I've uh, always been drawn into painting people mostly. Um, when I was at the University of Hatposha, I was uh, painting a lot of uh, my relatives, which I still do, a lot of my sisters, a lot of my uh, course mates at the time. Now, uh, through that, my practice has developed into painting uh, also objects. Uh, so when I was in London, um, maybe that was after my postgraduate, I got it really interested into the sculptures, into the Greek sculptures, uh, into looking at those and looking at the forms. I found it really interesting uh, how an object um, could take the form of a human being and how I could translate that into a painting. And I got interested into how images uh, move and could exist in the past as something else. And then we could find them in a different context now. And then how I could even change that from a museum context now to take an image and make it into a contemporary painting. And, um, First, I was drawn into them because of their beauty and uh, kind of the forms they created and the um, kind of how skilled the people who made them were. Uh, so I really wanted to paint them. And then I started thinking about them, how they were almost like me in a different place, uh, mm. like in a different context of where, like of, um, from the one they were made in. Uh, so I, I, at the end, started thinking about them as self-portraits, almost. We can uh, see behind you, in your studio, you've got some, yeah. some artwork exploring that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The one is a big painting behind me, covered by other small paintings. Uh, <laughs> it's the, uh, the midnight meeting in polka dot dresses. That one is... Um, of well the subject matter is my sister where I use her a lot as a self-portrait as well like thinking about the time uh, because we have a, quite a big age gap uh, like 12 years age gap and I'm thinking about her as almost me growing up and instead of painting me I'm kind of using her as uh, myself uh, as well they all have kind of the similar uh, thinking behind them I was going to say that leads us on to perhaps the works that you've um, submitted for the online exhibition. So this is interesting kind of thinking about what is present using um, people around you, yourself, your sister, but then also looking at these kind of classical sculptures and, and kind of bringing those things into your work. I suppose Blue Aphrodite, that really represents that as well, doesn't it? That kind yeah. of um, looking to the past 
and thinking of the ocean is that you or or your sister yeah yeah it's a self-portrait it's uh, a lot of my work has to do about me painting about home while being somewhere else or images from London that reminded me of home and then trying to put them in a different context trying to see how this relate to me um yeah so this alumni exhibition that we created um sort of celebrates the skills and talents of the School of Creative Arts graduates. Um, and as one, Mary, could you perhaps share with us something that you learned at the University of Hertfordshire that's um, helped you in your career? I feel those three years were really a time for me. I got to kind of be free and develop my work and develop and even grow up in a way uh, as an artist. The tutors and having my course mates and being able to discuss about my work with people around me, uh, that really helped me push through my practice and develop. And um, I feel like it was great for me because it gave me the opportunity to have like a space where I could do whatever I wanted without thinking you know, the consequences or is anyone going to buy this or thinking about like real life. So that really <laughs> was really good. And because of the university has so many uh, kind of facilities to help the students towards uh, being creative and opening up and doing whatever they want, then I, th I think that really is good and people should take advantage of this. Thanks. So, um, do you have a top tip for new graduates? Uh, well, the top tip, uh, I think, is to actually keep making, uh, mm -hmm. keep uh, producing, keep making, and keep developing and pushing your work. Never really um, feeling that you've reached a point where you found a style or you found uh, that's it, that's the best thing you can do. I think you should keep pushing and keep developing and keep thinking about how your practice can develop and keep it relevant to yourself. And also, uh, I feel they should apply to things. <laughs> that's a bit more practical. I think they should really apply to things and go for everything and try to do residencies, really try to apply to competitions. Uh, to exhibitions, trying to meet people, try to get into shows, because that's really going to help them afterwards, I feel. Um, yeah, even wh while they're studying. Yeah. That's about three tips there. So <laughs> keep applying and, and meet people. I think they're three really, really useful tips. Thank you so much. Um, a reminder, you can see Mary's paintings in the online Art in Practice Digital Alumni Exhibition on our website, www.uhartworks.co.uk. Your website and your social media handle. Uh, it's marysava.com underscore marysava. Thank you. And thank you for joining us, Mary, for this very um, short whistle, whistle stop introduction to your practice and for sharing thank your you. work. And um, yeah, Me take too. care. Keep in touch. You too. Lovely. Yeah. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.